I just get rid of these. So I really brush my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair because it's like, I don't know, brush my hair because I don't have to. So let's just do a quick skincare. So I'm gonna do the skincare for all weekend. I don't have time. I saw this. So I'm gonna take the first one. one because it's like a one. In the morning, I feel like this one just like gives me more like brightness. I know my fragrance is really bad in skincare, but it just smells so good. Also, nothing here is sponsored because I don't do that. But I do feel like I have the slightest bit because it kind of makes my makeup pill a little bit. I know it's not supposed to, but like if I use too much, it pills. So we don't like pilling. I've heard they're coming out with like heat drops, um, and I've heard they pill really bad. But I already have my bronzy drops, and like, should I get them? Like, I do have like everywhere, but like, I don't know if I should get it. I just ordered a super wash water. It's only five pounds, but it was on for forty dollars, and I spent all my money, so don't blame me for that. So first thing, I make routine. I use sunscreen because if you don't use sunscreen, you can get skin cancer. And do I skin cancer? No. Um, so I just add just like a little bit, but that was a lot. I wasn't really mad. There's nothing left in this. It's I got this on discount, so that was pretty good. It was like buy three level items. Well, it was buy two level items, get one free. And I was just like, hmm, I should probably do this. Like it was one, get one, like 10% off, all free. That would be amazing. I don't know why, but this makes me like Cast with the Ghost, and Cast with the Ghost is not an attractive look. So once I mixed the bronzy and gold drops into this skin fix cream, I don't use like the top because I just did some sunscreen and I was going to do it after, and the sunscreen was just like washing with the bronze, so there's no point. I don't have too much because when I found out I have too much, I look like too dark. Like, it just like, doesn't look good. And I just mix. Like, this is nothing compared to what I usually do. But I'm not going to so I'm kind of just a more subtle look. So I'm just gonna blend that into my skin. I'm not going anywhere today, but just get ready for fun because getting ready is so fun. Like, it's just like the entire day. Next, I'm gonna get milk hydrated primer. Um, it's running out, as you can see, it's like up to here. Um, and this stuff's expensive. So I try to use it very limitedly. Limited? That's not a word. But I try to limit the amount of these because my first cut is like two pumps, and I'm just like, no, I'm not. I should not be doing that. Um, now I'm gonna apply logo. This stuff, like, it's so weird. This one's just slightly too dark, but one was too light, so I just used this one because it's just. This is my summer shade, and I don't know if a pale ghost in summer. When you're, is it just me or is it beauty blender is dirty? Like, that's it, like, it doesn't blend as well. Is that just me? Um, I feel like this is going to be, like, bad today because, like, I lost storage. Um, I said, what? What is that? What is that? Anyways, so, this stuff is so good. I got it, um, in December, and I'm, like, in love. I have I need to make sure I blend it in because everyone's always saying you need to blend in your makeup more and stuff, but I think it's because my mirror is not very close to my face, and so we can't really see, like, what's going on because I'm in my bathroom. And I can't like see very close up, so that's a great negative to my setup. Uh, this one, you should go with the flash on my phone, but right now I'm recording, so I can't go with the flashlight. Um, and I could just like look at it through the flashlight to see if like blend it in. Last time I went there, I didn't post it because like this was so not blended out. So now I make sure to blend this out very well. Next time I'm going to the Rarity Under I think this stuff is really good. I really like it because it just like smooths out my eye texture and it makes my concealer application a lot easier because I don't have to use a lot. Like the only thing is like I can't access like that half. So like when I'm supposed to do like. That and like, I feel like the applicator is super cooling. Like, it's so cool. in the morning when I have to wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I can't wake up. I just love using this because like it's so cooling. Also, who's excited for the Tortured Post department? I feel bad for Joe, but I love Taylor so much. Um, Joe's been with Josh and Bassett after Sour was released. He's going to have to go through six months of therapy. Um, I think that Joe knew this was gonna happen. He was like, she loved Joe, but he didn't love her as much as she loved him. So I feel like that was a big part, and I feel like some of that, I feel like all the tracks are gonna be crazy, like I, I, I know it's synth pop, so it's gonna be like a mix, it's gonna be like sounding like 1989, because 1989 synth pop, but it's going to like have the aesthetic of reputation, but like the lyrics are going to be like lower. That's what I'm leaning towards. So basically it's gonna be like a lot, but TS11 is finally here, which is just something I'm really happy about, because we thought we were getting Sagittarius, so I'm not even gonna say anything about that. Um, I thought Rep was coming to us, I thought she was gonna say two months and not two years to the Grammys, she's gonna say two Grammys being for you, from you for two months, because that's gonna be like Rep, because you know, but my theory is that in 2021, um, two Taylor's versions came out, then in 2022, a new album came out, and then in 2023, two Taylor's versions came out, and in 2024, a new album's coming out. So I think the reputation and debut are going to come out next year. Just how it's gone so far. I've said this from the beginning. Everyone's like, rep is coming. I, I still clown because, like, how could I not? But, like, I always saw, I always thought that rep was not coming in 2023 or 2024 because, like, two Taylor's versions per odd year, a new album, or per um, even year. So I feel like in 2025, two Taylor's versions are going to come out, and then 2026, a new album, and then there's no, there's no more Taylor's versions left. So maybe, hopefully this won't happen again, so she won't have to make all her albums Taylor's version. But isn't Skinner Braun like being dropped by a bunch of artists? So if he's being dropped, maybe like he's gonna get like no money. So then like if he's no money, he's just sell albums and then Taylor can buy it back. I mean, you know, that would be like kind of sad because like the Taylor versions would be like useless. And she hadn't had like ownership for like how many years has it been? Five? Um, yeah. What sex matters? Oh yeah, powder. So I use this random powder. I just found it in my mom's like closet and I don't think she's ever used it before. So I just decided to take it and use it because it works very nicely. Um, it's not a pressed powder, so like it's very subtle. Like if I like do this, it's not gonna show up. I'm old, like, my makeup's like, really sticky, I don't know why, so when I just, like, put powder, it just, like, it makes application and just, like, life so much easier because, like, my face isn't sticky all the time. So every day I do highlighter in the corner of my eyes, but I feel like I should stop that because, like, I don't know, I feel like I look better without it, but I like doing it, so I'm not sure. And I have an extra one, right, this is the one I'm going to use, the glittery one, this is the one, the new one I have, and I haven't even used it yet, so, um, maybe I will keep doing it. 
So now he has a benefit gaming brow. Literally all the packaging came off, but like I have like a, a red gave the mini to my grandma because she was like, this product is nice. So I gave her a mini I have, which was perfect. Um, I hope this like blends in well because sometimes my brow products don't like blend in well. Then one of my aunts gets her lashes done, so she gets these. And every time I see her, I'm like, do you have any more of these? And this one literally broke, that's why I have to take mine. So I always ask her for sp her, her spoolies because she gets them for free, and then I don't have to go to Sephora looking for spoolies. I don't understand who spends money on spoolies, just like get one for free at Sephora, but like I don't have time for that. And also, like, hers don't get dirty. Like, this gets dirty because, like, all the brow products. So, like, if she has one, that's all she needs. Next, I went with the Rare Beauty Brow Gel. I thought this was only online, but then I saw it in Sephora, so I was really confused. Maybe it was online only for just, like, a couple of days, and then it was fine again, but I have no clue. Next, we're going to curl my lashes. Um, my lashes, like, they're long, but they don't hold all the curl at all. Like, they're long, but they don't hold the curl. Like, that curl's gonna go away in 10 seconds. Last year, um, I didn't wear that much makeup, so I was always like, oh, I'll curl my lashes, and then I fell out of my office by the time I, like, got downstairs and went to school. Like, okay, now I use the Tel L'Oreal Telescope. I only use this. I don't know, my mom just really mad. She's like, I only use this one mascara, so do you want this? And I was like, yeah, I tried it because I mix them and it makes my lashes look a lot longer. It's the Dalton and Lash Remedy Peptide Mascara. It works really nicely, but it's a bit clumpy. But that's why Telesc Telescopic is barely clumpy at all. Like, I never notice any clumps. I only notice lashes sticking together. And if you're wondering how I like, don't have to like do the face with mascara, like I have to do this like a dance competition with like 20,000 people around me. So, not 20,000, like 200 people around me. And like, it was so like crazy with like all the music and stuff. So I've just gotten used to it at this point. Like, I I'm not just into the face with like, yeah. And we're gonna go in with this. I'm sorry, I know this video is gonna be like 18 minutes long, but it is. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't do the blinking method, I just like, do this, but like, I don't have to blink much. And then I, like, I always get so, I get so much anxiety while applying mascara. This always, like, it always misses the teeth, cause like, and so I always get it all over my hand. Um, it's so annoying, but. Okay, but it doesn't look too bad. Now, oh, that's not the right product. Now I'm gonna get with my highlighter. I feel like I should clean her, because she's a little dusty. So we're gonna put it a little bit higher. Now I'm just gonna clean, 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 clean. I'm gonna make it, like, pointy again, so that's, like, easier to apply. Cause it just, like, is ten times easier, like that. So hopefully this looks nice. I have to do the face while I do highlighter. If I dance corners, I will do highlighter. Like in the corner corners. I do harder highlighter for in the corners. Like the corners. It was a lot more subtle. And now I go with this brush and I just blend it in. Like I don't really blend it in, I just like tap it in because it just like feels like a subtle one without like letting it go away. Oh right. Oh right. So I know I like told myself I'd stop using this, but like I might as well just, like finish it before I stop using it. Because I wouldn't repurchase it, to be honest. Like I would not repurchase, but um it's so patchy and I just like I don't like it personally. But it's a nice product. Um I love your beauty, but I just think it's the liquid, like liquid highlighters just don't work in my opinion. They look patchy and like they're difficult to blend in and like it's just a lot of harsh. Um, I'm gonna blend that in. It's so patchy. Like, I was like, should I get a beauty highlighter? I'm like, I would not, but if you like to be patchy, get it. Like, if you want to make it feel patchy and, like, like that, don't get it. But if you want like that, get it, I guess. But I'm not Taylor's one, so it's like, I love Selena. She's like Taylor's best friend, and like, I love Taylor. Everyone's like, oh my god, I'm preppy, I love Taylor, so like, I'm not preppy. First of all, I'm not preppy. Like, a lot of people like say, oh my god, you're so preppy, but I don't like not be preppy. Like, I just personally, a lot of preppies are like rude and not nice, and I just don't want to be one of those people because I, like, I'm a Sephora and I'm a 20 slash teen, and everyone's always like, oh my god, you're a Sephora kid, so I don't even go in the dry aisle. I have never rude to test her. I've never been rude to the employees. Once I dropped the Bondi Rice Scrub, but that was a complete accident, and I cleaned up myself and I apologize for it. So I just think it's a huge stereotype, and not every tween, well, maybe 9 in 10, they're obsessed, people are, but maybe not everyone who goes to Sephora at that age. But everyone's like, oh my god, you're Sephora Daniel, oh my god. But I'm not, first of all, I'm not 10, and I'm not rude like that. Um, my blush is a little too much, so I'm just gonna add a lot of powder. Um, I'm always really scared to apply powder because, like, I'm still on my eye and it like, really hurt and I got like blood shot. But it was only for like 10 minutes, it's not maximum, which is really weird. Um, I don't know, anyways, it's gonna like matter how well. My benefit is running out. Um, I just already blushed on the beauty highlighter, if you didn't know already. Um, now we're gonna go and apply it. My benefit is not well. I feel like it changed the shade. Like, the shade is not the same as it was on my body. It used to be a lot more pink, and I was like, not as pink. Like, it doesn't look the same. They used to taste it, but like, I thought I'm so used to it now, but it doesn't even matter. That was a lot of benefit. Okay. I just use this for like more of like a flush instead of like actual color because usually it just like blends in, makes my blush look more subtle. I'm like, not crazy. Now I'm going to use this Laura Mercier highlighter. I don't know where you can get this. I don't know where my mom bought it. My mom just said, Do you want this? And I said, Yes, because she has too much random makeup that she never uses in her drawer ever. So that's where a lot of my like non trendy makeup is from because that's my mom has it. Let's find everything my mom's giving me. Actually, here's that one beauty brow that I said about. Even that's a different one. So this is everything I've gotten from my mom. So I got this Smashbox Water Finish Primer. I got a bunch of this from like, it was Birchbox. It was kind of like empty. She introduced me to this product, but I bought that one on my own. Um, this is the NARS eyeshadow palette. It was really, oh, this was the NARS eyeshadow palette. I wore this to the Action Island concert when I went, and it didn't last that long, but it was okay. Okay. My mom is like the biggest benefit fan ever. She has like all of their products, and it's crazy. So my mom's giving me this highlighter, which I'm just gonna use. My mom's giving me like a bunch of her benefit that she doesn't use, but very rarely. Then this NARS Active Lip Balm. Um, she also got this in Birchbox. She's got a lot of this from Birchbox, and it was crazy. I this red one kiss. I kind of stole this like as soon as she got it, but that's besides the point. Um, then I have this floss, my new favorite lip gloss. I, really, I used to really like this, but then it's like, I have so many better lip glosses. Like, it's just kind of plain and it's clear, and it's just like, there's so much better stuff. Then I have this Dr. Pop, Dr. Papa lip and cheek tint. It doesn't even work. I wore this to my birthday party this year. Um, it doesn't even work. Like, it doesn't last five minutes. It's basically just like a white tint gloss. It's not even a tint. And it's like gone in like two seconds. And I have this like flare gloss. I really like this. Um, she like didn't like the shade, so
Um, I'm gonna add it a little bit because I don't want to wear makeup. Okay, that really is just really shiny. I'm gonna take this and I put it all over. Instantly not. It feels like really heavy on your lips, but it's. I never use it, but it's like dance. I don't know why. Oh shoot. So that didn't happen. Like, it's right there. Every day I have to decide what gloss I wear, so, or like, what the product I wear. Usually I don't wear the Ruby Blue Oil because, like, that's like kind of dark and I just don't use them special. I don't use them like special occasions. So these are my main options. Oh, and this. I don't know which one I wear. Right now, I'm thinking some varieties. In my order, as a bow order, I order so many lip products and it's kind of scary. But, you know, it's okay. Like, I ordered this one for Actually, I'll tell you in the haul. When I post the haul video. Um. That's the little beige. I was like, oh my god, pink sugar's the best. Yeah. And I was like, in my opinion, it's really not. Because I just think it tastes like really artificial. Oh, I also picked these two as well. But it's not always in my room, but I've had one recently. So it was, it was in my room for that. And I got alpha oil. I don't know why people don't like this. Like, it's a perfect dupe for the Dior, and it's just like $8. And like, it's really thick. I really like it because it lasts a long time. I don't think it's kind of holding it. Or I see Vaseline. This Vaseline is 12 years old. It's actually like so dead, but it's still not finished because Vaseline doesn't get finished. Um, I downstairs like a mix of Aquaphor and Vaseline, really. So my Aquaphor, like I had the big tub and it's gone. And I had like three years, but it's never. Next time I see is my delicious. Oh, and you spray. Oh my god, I used to take one. I think I saw that because I would have gotten my makeup just like gone in two seconds. Um, so now we're gonna use my delicious fresh body butter. This stuff is amazing. I feel like it smells so good and like it smells like a freshly baked vanilla cake. Like if I could have my life smell like if this was the only scent I could smell for the rest of my life, I would do it. I would do it because it smells. So, in my opinion, it smells so delicious. Um, then I'll get my face washed up. Um. Now I'm going to spray my Solution Hour 59 Mist because I just thought it's so good. I haven't posted the unboxing video yet, but it's so good. Like, when I smell, I got the papers and when I smelled the green, I was like, oh my god, I, like, when I got it, I knew it attracted sweater, so I was like, should I get it or not? And, like, when I was four, I was my friend, and I smelled it, and I was like, should I get it? And she was like, oh my god, it smells amazing. So I got it, and, and spiders. Um, it's definitely a deep myth, and I think it was just like, because, like, it was, like, holiday and, like, Christmas time, so people, like, had their trees inside their houses, and spiders wanted to, like, see the trees and stuff. So I just think it was all coincidence that they were in people's houses, not from the mist or perfume, not from the mist or cream. Apparently the cream, like, attracted it more than the perfume, but I haven't had, like, any, like, spiders or any insects at all. Like, at first, I kind of feared it, but then, like, okay. I just went I was like, oh my god, there's no spiders in this. But, like, when I got it, like, I feel like this one's less strong, like, it's different, like, on you than you can smell in the bottle, and it's kind of different, like, that one has more of, like, a candlewood smell, this has more of a vanilla smell. So, I don't know how people say it's too sweet, like, I think it's just, like, perfect enough, but everyone has different opinions. Um, I have the Breeze Solid Now Perfume Smell. Um, you can tell I've used my 62 a lot because she's my favorite. But this is like, actually, this is my favorite. 62 is my second, and then this is my third. I love 68. It was the first time I bought it because like 62, well, like, she was my favorite thing. And then when I bought this, I was like, because I feel like when it's like her spring, so I'm not really using this all the time. But like, this was like my fall and winter scent. So, like, I got this like nearly at the end of summer. So I was like, oh, now I can't really use it because it's like not a summer, it's a summer scent. It's not really here anymore. But 59, personally, I wear it all year round. Like, it, it could smell at any time. It's like, it's like sweet. It's maybe it was woodsy. I don't know if I'd be smelling like vanilla in the woods, but it feels super sweet now. I'm kind of really surprised that. But now I'm going to start making this like. Hair oil mist thing. Oh, I'm just reading it on my floor. That's actually really fun. So I just like put it on my brush and I just like, brush my hair through it because like it has like argan oil, it like repairs strength, smooths, it's heat protection, which is good. But when I went on vacation, I straight my hair a lot and I forgot to bring this. So I was like, oh my god, how did I not bring heat protection when I used when I straightened my hair like five times on vacation? And everyone was like, it's gonna be dry. So it's gonna And she was like, can we use this spray? I was like, that's not heat protection. And so I don't have damage to my hair. Um, I went last week and I feel like it's fine. But at the Airbnb out there, their shampoo and conditioner is so good. So after I got out of the pool, I went to the shower and I was like, oh, let me try out their shampoo I bring because like they said they were gonna have some and it like repaired my hair so much like it made my hair like feel so good afterwards and I don't know what it was but because it didn't have the brand or anything just a bottle and I need to know what that was so we should probably ask what it was okay guys my eyelashes are already falling so I'm gonna do the forbidden um it's fine but there's so many times before I feel like my eyelashes are kind of broken so like it can't even match on so um oh my god that's bad okay anyways thank you guys for watching it's gonna be really good me bye and I'm gonna see how long this takes bye guys oh, anyways bye I need to keep reading bye guys